Hello, I'm Martin Brewer and I'm the product manager for the Wavelink smartphone server and I'm going to be showing you today the end user experience uh, when receiving policies uh, which have been determined by your IT department on this iPad device. So first off what I'm going to do is force the uh, Wavelink client to check in with the server and today what we're going to be doing is actually looking to disable the YouTube application which you can see right here. So, first of all, I'm going to invoke the Wavelink client, and as you can see here, it's now syncing with the server, providing its location information back to the server, and it's then asking whether there are any new policies that it needs to install. And these can be various different kinds, Wi-Fi settings, VPN settings, exchange settings, and so forth. But today we're going to get an application restriction setting. I get the uh, dialog indicating whether I wish to install this new policy, and I click Install. I'm then taken to a page where it then says, uh, that this uh, is a genuine uh, profile which has been configured by Wavelink, so it's trusted. I then click the install button. Do you wish to install? I click yes. And then the system will then proceed to enroll the device into this policy. Then, once we get back to the main menu, we'll now see that the YouTube application has gone. Um, obviously, for other th things such as Wi-Fi settings, which can be quite complex with security keys, these are the types of things that you actually want IT to do centrally because first and foremost it means that mistakes are not made in actually installing those profiles but it also means you don't have any lapse of security by actually having to tell people what the keys are or how to get enrolled into the network. It's automatic, it's taken care of by simply the click of a button. Thank you.